इंस्टॉलेशन एंड कमिशनिंग लो टू मीडियम के लिए कैनोपी जेनसेट्स Proper installation and commissioning of a genset is very important to achieve better uptime and safety. This video acts as a guide to a typical genset installation. Please note there may be some variables in actual condition. Government of India regulations have made it mandatory for genset manufacturing plants to ensure a proper enclosure called canopy for all gensets manufactured in their plants. Each genset should be CPCP compliant. Canopy gensets can be placed in open air. Foundation. Before the arrival of the DG set, ensure a cement concrete foundation block of adequate size is made ready for placing the genset. Length and breadth minimum 12 inches more than the DG set. Depth of the concrete block should be 600 mm. and if the soil is loose the depth may have to be increased concrete block should be 10 cm above the ground to maintain cleanliness surface of concrete block should be in one water level use spirit level to measure the flatness of the concrete block surface note the pressure applied by the dead weight of the genset must be lower than the load bearing capacity of the foundation a bad foundation will lead to excessive vibration resulting in various failures in the genset The generating set should be connected to earth in accordance with local regulations. Four number of earth bits are required as per the Indian electricity rules. The neutral earth pits and body earth pits should be located on opposite sides of the canopy. Two earthing pits for body earthing, one from the alternator body and the other from the canopy. Two separate earthing pits for the neutral. Connect the two neutral plates to form a neutral earth grid. Similarly, connect the body earth plates to form a body earth grid. Note that the body and neutral earth should never be interconnected. Chemical earthing. Chemical earthing is strongly recommended in those locations where water level is low, soil resistivity is high, mostly in hilly terrains. It is better than conventional salt charcoal earthing in many ways. It is maintenance free. No need to pour water regularly as in the charcoal and salt method. It has a very long life. Drill a bore of 200 to 300 mm diameter and 2 to 3 m depth. Insert the earthing electrode at the center of the bore. Mix the chemical compound nicely with water to make a thick slurry. Pour it around the slides of the electrode gradually to reach up to the ground level. First check of earth resistance value will be carried out on the day of the installation. Final results are taken seven days after installation. The earthing electrode can now be connected after the preliminary check.